Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over how to anonymize data. I'm going to talk first about de-identification of MRI data and then I'll go over how to deface data afterwards. To anonymize MRI data, you usually have to remove all personal or identifiable uh, information from the MRI images and you do this before you're sharing your data. So if you have subjects sign a consent form, they agree to release some personal information as well as the results of their MRI study to the people doing the research, but it will be against HIPAA regulations if you then share MRI data that can trace back to the personal information of the subjects. So in neuroimaging labs, you have to anonymize data before you can share it to any other collaborators outside of the ones that are already approved in the study. So to start off, I'm going to talk about de-identification. You can um, strip a lot of the header that has personal information from DICOMs and NIFTIs using MRI Cron. So MRI Cron has a tool called DICOM to NIFTI and also DICOM to NIFTI GUI and this can let you anonymize really simply DICOMs and NIFTIs. So if you open up DICOM to NIFTI GUI and then if you go to the, what is this called, the taskbar at the top and you go to file, uh, there's an option to anonymize DICOM data. So I have some in this folder and you just say what folder you want and it really quickly does it. You can test this in MATLAB to try to read the header information and see if it really did work or not. You can do a similar thing uh, to make sure that the personal information or the header information from NIFTIs is removed. So when you open DICOM to NIFTI GUI, it will tell you that it's reading from a preferences file and then it will give you the file path. So if you search for it, if you open the file that it's talking about, you'll see that it has lots of different options that you can customize as either true or false. And the default that it comes with is to anonymize the NIFTIs. So really anytime you convert from DICOMs to NIFTIs, if you have the default settings, it will automatically de-identify the data. So that is removing identifiable data from the headers. Defacing we'll talk about next. So what this does is, as you can see, it removes the facial features of a image. So this is usually a nifty or you can be converting from an MGC, but that type of three-dimensional file. And the idea with this is that there is software that can reconstruct a face from a nifty so you can take an image like this with various slices and then render it with like a fake skin on top and I think it was here that I read that there was a study that said they did this and people could guess with greater than random chance who the people were so this is kind of considered personal information that you could be sharing with someone there are a lot of different programs that will do defacing of MRI data um, free surfer has has its own tool so it's the function mri underscore deface so that's the one i'm going to go over in this video but actually i will show you an example because i ran this a couple times and it didn't actually work that often so you have to definitely check all the data that you try to deface before you send it to anyone so if you want to deface your data and you just want to run this function and nothing else, you can call the function directly or also if you are processing a subject for the first time as part of your recon all script or if you already have a subject in your subjects folder and you want to deface them, you can just add the tag deface and also the subject name, whatever, and that will that will basically call the function and do the same thing. Um, if you call the deface tag from recon on all, what it will do is it'll take your file called orig.mgz, which is in your MRI folder, and it will add an orig underscore deface.mgz, so it will deface an MGZ file, but you can also input a nifty file and it will deface that. So I will put a link to this page down below. To call this function directly, you need to use these files that it provides to you for free, so you need to have the face.g GCA and the Telerac mixed with Skull GCA. So when you want to run the function, make sure you have those files downloaded already. 
let me see. So I have a test folder with two nifties and let me show you an example of it not working. So I had run this and the function itself just takes a couple of minutes. So it says here that on my computer it took three and a half minutes to run. And let me show you the original nifty. So there was some movement that might be the reason that it wasn't working. This is also a subject so their brain is kind of abnormal but you can see Where's their jaw? Okay, so you can see all the features here of the nose and you saw a little bit of the eyeball and the neck as well. So let me show you what DeFace did. So this is what it produced. And as you can see here in the axial view, it removes some slices of the brain. So this is what I'm saying when I say it doesn't always work. So as you can see here, you would not want to try to process this file. And it actually completely missed the facial portions, which is a little bit weird. But this does work sometimes. So I probably should have started with an example of it working first, but I have a a file called yes so this is my brain and there's less movement artifact so that might be one reason that it worked better but you can see my big nose I guess in this so the way you would run the deface function is it asks for an input volume which is the nifty or the mgc whatever file that you have the brain template which is the talarac mixed with skull the face template which is the face file and then whatever you want to name the output volume so usually you just add underscore defaced. So let's go ahead and run mine. So I have yes.nifty. The brain is that. Then, oh no, that was, yeah, the brain. And then the face. And then the output is going to be yes defaced.nifty. And that will just take a couple minutes to run. Okay, so that took less than three minutes and the result is much better. So I would say that this one does work. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it completely misses any brain and it does take out a significant portion of the front, which has all the facial features. So this is an example of what MRI deface should do. So let me make just a few comments before I end the video. I think that there are a lot of defacing functions in other neuroimaging software. I haven't tested any, but maybe in a future video, if I find one that I think works better than the FreeSurfer version, I can make a video on that. And also you might be wondering like, what is the point of this if you can just send someone a skull stripped brain? And you can definitely do that. You can send someone just the brain and have a FreeSurfer or any other program do a brain extraction. I think the argument is that that takes a long time and that is a lot of processing in itself. So this is faster because obviously this just takes a couple of minutes if you're going to share data before you do any real processing. So I think that that's kind of the idea with defacing the data. But anyway, that's it for this video and thank you guys for watching.